Namaste and welcome along to another ASMY cooking class. Um, today we're on, along the similar lines to the dal that I made last week um, but we're going to add some rice and it's going to be cooked all in one pot and is known as kitchari. This is a really good Ayurvedic dish that is great for cleansing the body so if you're going on a detox in Ayurvedic tradition it is very different to the detoxes that we have today where we drink juice and, and water fasts. Um, they actually fast with kitchari and it cleanses the whole system, it lines your stomach, it helps your digestive system, it gives it a nice break. It's a really delicious detox. Um, so we have some mung dal here. It's, um, same as what we used for the dal last week. So it's very small little um, uh, lentils or legumes, I should say. And um, they're split in two. So they cook down very, very quickly. So they're good if you've got um, digestive problems, they will help you, your digestion. They will digest very quickly. We've also got some basmati rice, just the white basmati rice, which is good for all body types. Brown rice can be a little bit hard to digest for certain body types. So we're going to pop this in with four cups of water. I'm pretty sure we're going to need more than four cups, but honestly it varies. If you make a dal in a pot on the stove, if you make it in a, a pressure cooker, or if you make it in a, a rice cooker, I often cook it in a rice cooker, the ratios of water to grains and legumes are going to be quite different. So you really just have to work it out for yourself. Don't let it stick to the bottom. If it's getting too thick, just add a little bit more water. Keep adding a little bit. Don't add too much at once or it might end up too runny. We've also got some spices, very few spices in this one. We're gonna cook the spices in ghee and that is known as a chaunce. What we have here is uh, some turmeric half a teaspoon. We've got a teaspoon of Panch Paran, which is a mixture of five spices, Indian spices. Uh, there is, I always forget exactly what they are, but there's fenugreek, fenugreek seeds, there's fennel seeds, there's cumin, black mustard, and there's another one too, which is a little bit obscure for us Westerners. It's sort of like a little black, black seed. They're just equal parts. I've made it before myself. I've bought, you know, the four, five different seeds and thrown them all in together and made my own punch param. But you should be able to buy this from the Indian grocers. Um, now you can use Arjwain seeds, which I love, but I didn't have any and I didn't have time to go to the Indian shop this morning. But I have made it with just plain cumin seeds. I've also made it with the punch paran, which is really delicious. It's just a nice combination of spices. But if you have Arjwain, they also aid digestion. And if you tend to get flatulence um, when you eat your, your legumes, um, if you add some Arjwain seeds, it will help to, um, to stop that from happening. We're also um, using some black salt, which is actually pink, but when it hits the food or the or moisture, it goes black. So I'm assuming that's why they call it black salt. Um, so it is not sodium. It has got a lot of potassium in it and it's ground from rocks, rocks in, the, in India somewhere. I'm not sure if it's the Himalayas, um, but it is ground rocks. And uh, it's got a nice sulfur flavor. If you don't like egg, you probably won't like the flavor of it. It's got a sort of an eggy sulfur flavor, but I quite like the taste of the black salt and it's uh, great for your health, adding those extra nutrients. Okay, so we will begin. I've got this on already, so we don't have to wait till it heats up. So I'll put the water in because it's going to probably boil up a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to add our cup of mung dal and our half a cup of basmati rice. Now you can use equal parts, you can use more rice if you like rice. I actually prefer it with more mung dal, so I always halve the rice to the mung dal. So I'm just going to stir that through. Now if you see a lot of thick foam, coming up to the surface, just scoop that off and you can throw that down the sink because that helps to alleviate flatulence. If you leave that froth in there, you're more likely to get flatulence. 
Okay, so I'm going to bring the camera over now so you can have a look in the pot, see what's happening. Um, I'm gonna time this. So um, we'll see how long it takes. You, you want the mung dal to be really, really broken down. Don't add your spices until it becomes really thick and creamy. So that is the secret to dal and kitchery. You need to really, really cook the legumes well. If you don't, they've still got form and they're still a bit crunchy, you don't want that. It's not good for your digestion and it will tend to cause more flatulence. I'm going to uh, turn that down now to a simmer and just let this cook down until it becomes very, very creamy before we add our chaunce. A chaunce is simply when you cook your spices in oil or ghee. You can put vegetables into your kitchery. I'm just making a plain kitchery porridge uh, today, but you can add whatever vegetables you like. Um, of course, if you're going to um, cook with potato and other vegetables that take longer to cook, you put them in at the beginning um, and then you cook the other, put the others in maybe halfway and then the vegetables that don't take long to cook like tomatoes and spinach, you would put just at the end for a few minutes. Not too much froth on this one. Sometimes you get more than others, especially with dal, you tend to get more. This is definitely going to use more than four cups of water. I can feel that. Okay, so you can see here, this is getting really thick. It's not sticking to the bottom because I've got it on a fairly low heat, but it's nowhere near cooked. So we're going to need a lot more water. I'm going to add two more cups now. And I may even need more than two cups, but we'll start with two cups. So we've got a fair way to go yet. It's nowhere near creamy yet. All the grains and your legumes, the mung dal has complete form still. And it's not even soft. So you can see that is becoming nice and thick, but it's still got a way to go. So I'm going to add another two cups of water. Hopefully that's enough. So that is eight cups of water altogether. So we'll let this simmer for a bit longer and I'll be back to show you how it looks in five or 10 minutes. Look how creamy that is. Creamy, delicious, and really healthy. Oops, I forgot to turn the camera on here. So we melted the ghee, and then I added the punch paran and just um, fried it up, just not very long, because you don't want to burn the fenugreek, otherwise it goes really bitter and you'll, it'll spoil your whole meal. So you just want to fry the spices up to bring out the flavors. And then I've added the turmeric just momentarily in there and I'm about to throw that into the um, rice and mung dal. Okay, so we're just going to throw that in now. Give it a stir. Smells divine. We're gonna add some salt, the black salt. So just salt to taste. I like a lot of salt, so I'm putting a teaspoon in. But if you don't like salt so much, you could leave it out altogether put a half a teaspoon, whatever your taste requires. So here we have our kitchery. How easy was that? It took about just over half an hour, about 35 minutes. And um, we've got a really healthy Ayurvedic meal. So I'm just going to serve this up. Look how thick and creamy that is. And it's quite filling and it's a one pot meal, just my type of food. 
my type of cooking. I'd say you would get three of these bowls, three, three of these um, just sort of medium sized bowls. And you could garnish that with some coriander or some parsley or just something to make it look pretty. Maybe a little bit of coconut cream drizzled over it. And there you have kitchery. So I'll see you again next week. I hope you enjoy this very easy but delicious dish. Hurry ball.